Okay. I got Miss Clementine here. She's a schnauzer. She's really cute. She's young and she's a little nervous. So I've already done the majority of her trim, but I'm going to show how to trim ears and eyebrows. Um, I shaved her with the number 10 and now I'm going to finish the ears. And so what you're going to do is fluff it out real good. Take and find the edge of the ear with your one hand and scissor. Your fingers are being used as like a buffer so that you can't go too close. One thing to always remember is take the ear with the shape of the ear, scissor in these directions, never scissor down because then you have a chance of nicking the dog. You always have to be extra careful on this edge of the ear because there's a flap so you just got to be mindful of this flap right here and every dog has them. I'm not really sure what it's for, what uh, evolutionary reason that was created. See, now it's all scissored up. It looks nice and clean. I'm going to do this side, same manner, fluffing it out, finding the edge of that ear with my index and thumb. These shears I use strictly for this purpose, and I think that they're getting a little bit dull. But don't be afraid to go back over your work. There's always going to probably be a little hair sticking out. You could move on to the other side of the table or you can just invert it the same way I just did to prevent having to do that, but that looks pretty decent. Don't have to worry about getting it too perfect because some of the times when you get uh, into it too hard, you can mess up. So I'm taking my face comb. She, if she has any tangles, in her beard she gets really fussy about it and I thought I felt one a second ago but it's kind of a schnauzer thing in general yeah I got something here there it goes I don't know what it was oh one of those little grass things in the weeds have to come back in and catch that eye corner. I like to try to grab the hair below the tangle and then brush at the tangle 
to prevent the pulling onto the skin. And usually you can get through stuff. Now that wasn't a bad tangle. If it was a bad tangle, I would not have used um, my comb. Gentle, gentle pressure. So now I'm going to take and catch that eye corner real quick. Scooping out so I don't affect any of this. I'm trying to grow this out. Now that looks really nice. All right, so brush it down. And then you're gonna come like this. And you're getting that point. Be really careful. Know where the eyelids are, the eye corners. And that's how I did that. I like to take and trim down the sides of the face to make it a little cuter. and make them really long by uh, breed standards but this owner doesn't really want them that long and exaggerated now I try to even them up sometimes when you're doing the this part right here you can accidentally catch some of the eyebrow which I did do a little bit but she's still really really cute I'm not gonna worry about it too much she always does this Pretty chocolatey girl. And the goal mainly with schnauzers is to have a nice natural beard. But I like to trim it just a little bit. Uniformity. some more off camera and make her real real cute.